Uh, condition that we have this time and at approximately 1130 hours this morning a light experimental aircraft was attempting to land uh, on the main runway of the Rowan County Airport. Uh, the pilot, uh, Mr. Robert Poole of Granite Quarry was the, uh, was the pilot. As he attempted to land the aircraft, the uh, aircraft bounced slightly off the runway. Uh, he attempted to regain control. It veered off the main runway onto a grassy area and overturned. Mr. Poole suffered some light injuries. Uh, he refused treatment, transport at the scene. Uh, and at this point, there was a minor fuel leak that's being contained and taken care of by uh, the fire department at the scene. Uh, the incident is under control and notification's been made to uh, federal authorities for the follow-up investigation. Frank, when you guys got here, was he still in the plane? When emergency personnel got here, was he still in the plane? Or he, he, had already, he had already gotten out of the plane when we arrived. Can you tell us kind of what the damage looks like uh, over there? I, we can see wheels upside down. Sure. There is, uh, when, the, when, the, when the plane flipped upside down, of course, there's damage to the top of the plane where it impacted the ground. And like I said, there is a, there is a minor fuel leak because of the crash but that is just minor at this time it's been contained. The airport itself closed right now? The airport, is, the airport runway is closed at this time, yes. How long will that stay? Uh, we have not got a confirmation back yet on response from uh, the FAA officials, so for the foreseeable time it will remain closed. Frank, when you pulled up on it, you saw the damage for the first time. Your reaction to seeing it and the fact that he was able to walk away from it? We actually, we actually, as I, we were responding in, uh, airport staff and personnel that were already here at the airport were already out here on the scene and we had initially gotten some initial information that the uh, pilot had already removed himself or had been helped out of the aircraft. Uh, when we pulled up on the scene, certainly uh, it could have been much worse and we're, we're very pleased that he wasn't uh, hurt any worse than what he was. You say experimental as opposed to just a plane. What's what's the difference? Do you know? It's not, David. It's not the, the plane's not manufactured by a, a manufacturer. It's a, a home-built aircraft, or it's a kit model aircraft. The um, the make of the aircraft is is the manufacturer's Vans V A N S, and the model number is uh, R V nine A. Did the pilot build the aircraft himself, or was he built I'm sorry. Did he build the aircraft himself or did somebody else? I do not know that, sir. And when was the last time you had a plane crash here? Actually, an incident on the airport property, it's been several years. We actually, if you recall, we've actually had, in the county, we've had three, three or four other incidents elsewhere outside the airport property in remote areas of the county since. And his name, one more time, the pilot. His name was Robert Poole, P-O-O-L-E of Granite Quarry. Do you have an age on him? No, I do not. Okay. Did he see? Were they coming from somewhere to land? Where were they coming from? I do not know. He was the only one in there? Yes, he was. Did he say anything about what happened with the crash? If it, it was wind or anything like that? No, he just he indicated he was, in, he was making uh, a normal landing from north to south on the main runway. And when uh, witnesses indicated when he came down and did the initial touchdown, he, uh, the, the aircraft bounced and then it veered off uh, the runway onto the grass and that's it. at that point it overturned. So it's, it's upside down in the grass? Not that, yes sir, that's correct. And you guys are going to move it pretty quick after you take some photos? Soon, we're, we've are, we're making the photos at this time. We're actually, uh, Highway Patrol is doing their investigation that's required locally and then uh, we're waiting on the representatives from FAA to uh, do their initial uh, size up before we can actually remove the aircraft. What they do the investigation then? Pardon me? Will they do an investigation then? They'll do an initial investigation. There probably won't be any uh, determinant cause or anything issued until sometime later. I know with some of the other plane crashes that we had last year, there was some uh, back and forth between uh, the sheriff's office or uh, city police and uh, highway patrol as far as who's going to be able to take, who's going to be in charge of the investigation. Sure. Uh, who's in charge of this investigation? Highway Patrol does, North Carolina Highway Patrol does the initial investigation on aircraft accidents gotcha. and then it's supplemented by the law enforcement agency having jurisdiction. In this case, that secondary agency is going to be the Rowan County Sheriff's Department okay. and then they're assisted by the Salisbury Police Department in this case. It's a one-seater, right? Uh, yes, sir, I believe it is, yes.
Single engine? Yes, single engine aircraft. 